Huh. See, I think this is gonna be too loud. So in that time I spent checking to see if the fan sound was noticeable, I realized it doesn't fucking matter. It's staying on. I woke up this morning with the sudden urge to film something, which for me is like incredibly impressive. I haven't filmed a video in like forever, so I'm just gonna like roll with it and pretend this is completely on time. Well, it's on time for me, honestly. I'm here today to talk about something that is really near and dear to my heart and I don't know, I've always, this has always been a subject I'm very opinionated on and something that has caused a lot of controversy, discourse, and really just growing tensions between me and certain people I meet. Um, specifically, what this topic is, is that the Pilot Precise V5 rolling ball pen is the best black ink pen that you could use in your life definitively, scientifically, factually, hands down. This is the pen that you should be using. So I know this is a very divisive topic because everyone has their special favorite pen that they like take their notes with or whatever. I feel like I am a very experienced person on this topic that I can discuss the um, factual basis and reasons why this pen is the superior because I am currently going into my fourth year of university and that means I've been taking notes for like 12 years of my life. Also, <laughs> I happen to have some sort of, of pens that I've collected throughout like the past few years. So why else do I feel like I'm qualified to discuss the, um, I guess, quality of this pen and why it's better than whatever pen that you, you may have as your favorite because I do enjoy writing and I um, do it a lot. Um, this notebook actually has no writing in it and I did buy it two years ago but I only write for classes really. I do enjoy writing and I um, do it a lot. I know you probably have your favorite pen and you think my pen is the shit. Like I like how all my letters look, I, it flows nicely, it's you know beautiful, it's easy to write with, it's comfortable to hold. I don't know, I don't care, I don't give a shit. Let's discuss what you should be looking for in your black ink pens. So why am I so passionate about my black ink pens? I am so passionate about these pens because I use them every day of my life. If I am using a pen, I need the ink to be crisp and as black as possible. I need the ink to, when I'm writing, not skip, not show any of the paper through it. It needs to completely cover the paper. My pen needs to also hold an excessive amount of ink so I don't have to go, you know, buy new pens all the time. Or, more importantly, I'm not in the middle of the class and like, I run out of ink and I have to, you know, ask for a pen from someone because I don't talk to anyone in my classes except for one person who also doesn't talk to anyone in our classes besides me and also wouldn't have an extra pen probably because we're both really underprepared always. That's the second thing. I just have to... <laughs> I haven't... <laughs> I haven't taken my meds in like four months and I don't even know where like where this video is going. I'm gonna draw a compare a line, a straight line with this pen, and draw a straight line with every other pen, and then discuss my findings after. Okay. I have created a test sheet with a line drawn of all of the pens that I currently have in my possession. So there are eleven. And I am here to discuss the results from the straight line test. As you can see, the Pilot Precise V5 has a very clean, thin, dark line with no breaks in it. The Pilot Precise V7 has an, also has a very thin, dark line with no breaks in it. But this is the shit I'm talking about. If you're one of the persons who uses a pen like this, this is a Zebra Z-Grip, or a pen like the Pilot G2, which I know is a lot of people's favorites because I see that stupid, like, no, I get it. I know this is your favorite pen. Look at that shit. Are you telling me that when I go to grab my pen and start writing with it, that I should be, like, I should have to wait to get the ink out of the pen and I should be satisfied with these shitty results? No. I don't have time for that. I'm grabbing my pen to write the notes down, not to write down fucking blank. 
on my paper and then have ink pour out halfway through the word. Doesn't work like that for me. I will say the Bic Atlantis right here um, this is a pen that I have undervalued, I think, because not only is this line thick and dark, the lettering when I'm writing with it also looks very nice. See how the pilot um, precises? They are so dark. And then every single other one of them, until you get to Fila, is kind of like gray. And these are very black. I will say the Fila, as I just mentioned, was extremely surprising because I remember buying like a pack of 50 of these on Amazon for like six bucks and it almost had the same exact feeling as the Muji pen. Now the Muji pen is a pen that so many, so many people in my life, at my school, in general, rave over. People are crazy for the Muji pen. Now I love Muji. This notebook from Muji. I stamped that on myself, super cute. I love Muji. I think Muji's pens are not that great. When you're writing with them, it's like, hmm, let me, it won't pick up, and I know that, but let's just try. It is so scratchy. I know that picked up, because that was so scratchy. Now let me do the same thing with my favorite pen, the Pilot Precise V5. Okay, it's even more scratchy. Um, never mind. That wasn't real. Moving on, because I need to prove my point in other ways, I suppose. <laughs> when you are writing your notes with these pens, there is a clear difference. So I'm definitely gonna narrow down what I'm using because um, I need, I can't do 11. So looking back at this list, I'm gonna use both these pilots. I'm also going to use the Pilot G2 pen because that is a favorite of many people on this planet, including my dad. I'm going to use the Muji pen because that is another big favorite I see every single day. I guess the Zebra pen, because that's like another, that's like a more classic ballpoint pen, like a cheap one. This Pilot pen is a gel pen, I believe. And then so is the Muji one. So I have two rolling ball, two gel, one ballpoint. I guess I need another ballpoint. So this is the Pilot Easy Touch ballpoint. You know, that's another thing, is I bet so many of you didn't even know there was a difference. So this is a rolling ball pen, which from my understanding, I'm not gonna look this up, I'm just <laughs> not, is this whole thing is just full of ink. And then there's just like a, like it's a rolling ball, I don't know, just, it's just like, it's full of ink, yeah? So let's start off with the Pilot V5. I'm going to write my name. How about that? That's easy. As you can see, very sleek, very, you know, there's like some sparks that are darker than others, but that's not really an issue to me because they're darker than dark. Like it's our, like the color is uniform black. You know, there's no, there's no lightning. It doesn't show gray in any spot. There's no skipping. It's just, it's very well done. Now, if I go with the V7, which is, um, the difference is like this is a five millimeter tip and this is a seven millimeter tip. Look how much thicker it is. Now, this is something that you wouldn't notice during the lines, but when you write your name, like the bottom one is just, it looks like it's bold. Whereas the top one looks like it's normal font, you know? Which isn't really an issue, but let me show you what happens when you're like signing your name really small. You have to like initial date and sign things in small boxes. And let me show you the issue you run into if you use the V7. Using the same style of strokes, that is how much my signature shrinks with the V5. That is literally because the thickness, like the diameter is small enough that when you're coming off of each letter, it just brings it in that much by the end. It's so much smaller, and like that is why I need it, because I need the ability to write small. Now, if we go to the ballpoints, let me show you why ballpoints are the worst pen you could ever consider using and calling your favorite pen. Let's start with the Pilot Easy Touch. All right, look at this garbage. There's like skipping in the J, and the F, and the Y, and the R, and the T, and a little bit in the C and the U. So that is probably 80% of my name has blank space in it, and you, like, not, not okay. And if I go in with the Zebra Z-Grip ballpoint, it gets even worse. 
He's skipping everywhere and then my signature just looks like shit and I promise you I'm not doing this on purpose. Like, I'm telling you. Moving on to the gel pens. Let's go to Muji. Okay, these both are the gel pens. This is the Muji, this is the Pilot G2. I would say these are definitely, in my opinion, from writing all of these tests out, the mid-ground between Rolling Ball and Ballpoint. They write a lot smoother than Ballpoint, but not as smoothly as Rolling Ball, which is again why you should be choosing one of these pens as your favorite. Now, this video is becoming much too long. I don't know why I care about this. So I'm going to do one last test to just kind of scientifically prove that um, this is right here, the Pilot Precise V5 is the best option to go with as your uh, favorite pen. So I'm going to draw a line and I'm going to, I'm going to draw a line and I guess I'm gonna, okay, I'm gonna draw a line, wait 10 seconds, and then like wipe it and see if it smudges. So I'm gonna start with the Pilot Precise V5. Okay, my timer going, just drew my line, I'm gonna wait 10 seconds. And no smudging whatsoever after 10 seconds. Now let's go on with the V7, okay? Again, no smudging with the V7 after 10 seconds. Let's go in now with the Pilot Easy Touch Ballpoint. There's smudge, you can't really tell, but there's a little bit of lift up there and like around this line, but you can see it on my finger. On to the next ballpoint, and I'll use my middle finger for this one, so there's no, you know, accusations that I'm rigging this for the ballpoints. Again, slight smudging. Again, there's like some ink that has come off. Not really a win for the ballpoints, I would say. Like, do I really have to wait more than 10 seconds for my ink to dry? If you're a lefty, you're fucked, right? Rolling ball pens don't really smudge. Um, yeah, the gel smudged a bit too, but not too major. And then I'm gonna go in with the last gel pen, which was the Pilot G2. The other one was the Muji one, this one's the Pilot G2. Uh, and that one didn't smudge on paper, but lifted off onto my finger. Okay, anyways. As you can tell by that test, the smudge test, these are the only pens that didn't smudge at, um, after 10 seconds, which to even, they even like don't smudge after like five seconds. Like, look at this. There's the line. There's, it's not smudging. Like, what? I will say, with these pens comes great responsibility. If you're an amateur penaholic, um, and you leave your rolling ball pen out without the cap on, if this is touching anything that soaks up liquid, the ink will be drawn out into it. I've had this ruin my bed sheets because I left it in my bed while doing homework and the ink just soaked out into all of my bed sheets. But if you just remember to cap them, you will not run into that issue and you can have your favorite pen at all times, ready to write, ready to not smudge, ready to sign those small freaking signatures, and yeah. So, there really wasn't a point to this. I just really wanted to talk about why the Pilot Precise V5 is the world's best pen, and um, yeah. <laughs>